Thanks again for listening. Uh, if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that helps me tremendously. I'm aiming for a thousand subscribers, so if you could help me with that, you would be doing me a service. This is the reading of The Art of Prayer, a handbook on how to pray by Kenneth E. Hagan. Uh, this is the reading of chapter two. This book is going to go fast because it's big font and uh, it's not very long. Various kinds of prayer, chapter two. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Ephesians 6 and verse 18. Notice that says praying with all prayer. The Amplified reads, pray with all manner of prayer. Another translation reads, praying with all kinds of prayer. But the translation that really strikes a note in my own spirit is good speeds. It reads, use every kind of prayer and entreaty. And at every opportunity, pray in the spirit. The Bible teaches several kinds of prayer and the different rules governing them. The church world makes a mistake in not differentiating between those different kinds of praying. We simply put all prayer in the same sack and shake it all together. Many prayers are not working because people are not using people are using the wrong rules and laws. In the field of sports, for instance, we have baseball, basketball, football, golf, tennis, etc. These are all kinds of sports, but they are not all played by the same rules. Wouldn't it be confusing to play a baseball game with football rules or vice versa? It would be a lot funner, I can tell you that. The reason people are confused and have a prayer problem is that they have their rules and laws all mixed up together. They take rules which govern one kind of praying and try to apply them to other kinds of praying. Speaking illustratively, they've got football, baseball, basketball, golf, and tennis rules supposedly all working together. They are confused, and so is their prayer life. One common misconception people have is they think they should conclude every prayer with the words, if it be thy will. They claim that this is how Jesus prayed. However, Jesus prayed this way only on one occasion that is recorded in Scripture. That was in the Garden of Gethsemane when he prayed the prayer of consecration. When they attempt to pray the prayer of faith, the prayer of petition, the prayer to change things, they conclude it with, if it be thy will. And their prayer is hindered because they are uncertain of his will which is his word, they may say, I don't understand why that doesn't work. That would be like saying at a football game, I don't see why someone doesn't hit a home run. Don't be confused. Go to the rule book. Go to the Bible and see how to pray. I will list here several kinds of prayers the Bible teaches. However, I cannot go into detail on all of them in this book. I do have books on prayer which deal with them in more detail. First, the prayer of faith, the prayer of petition, the prayer to change things. This prayer always to be ba is always to be based on God's revealed will in his word and never contains an if. So the prayer of faith is the prayer of petition, the prayer to change things. This prayer always is always to be based on God's revealed will in his word, and it never contains an if. Second, the prayer of consecration. The prayer of consecration and dedication of our lives for God's use, to go anywhere and do anything. In this prayer, we pray, if it be thy will, according to Luke 22 and verse 42. The prayer of commitment, casting your cares upon the Lord in prayer, 1 Peter 5 and verse 7. The prayer of worship, Luke 24, 52 and 53, Acts 13, 1 through 4. The prayer of agreement, Matthew 18, verse 18 through 20. The prayer in the Spirit, uh, praying in tongues, 1 Corinthians 14, 14 and 15. The united prayer. Acts 4.23-31 through 31. 
the prayer of supplication. Intercessory prayer. The last two types of prayer are preliminarily covered in the next two chapters. For additional teachings on different types of prayer, please see Brother Hagen's book, Bible Prayer Study Course. And that is the conclusion already of chapter two. We'll see you.